Right now, um, the the Prince George show we have right now on um, Amazon Prime that we're we're writing and producing right now. We'll start uploading okay. more shows as we speak, as as we as, uh, as we speak. But also, um, we are uh, also recording um, a couple audio books and a couple uh, soundtracks for the type of project uh, Bugsy. Uh, the become the becoming project that turned into movies based on comic book. Hello, I am John Brink, and we are podcasting on the brink from downtown Prince George, British Columbia, Canada. And for all those people that wonder where is Prince George, Canada, well, it's in the province of British Columbia, and that's on the west coast of Canada, big province. Uh, everybody has heard of the name Vancouver. We are about 500 miles north of Vancouver and the city uh, or 800 kilometers for our friends in, in Europe. And the city is Prince George, which is the physical center of British Columbia. It is from north to south in the middle, east to west in the middle, big province. Now, today we got a special guest by purely coincidental, in a way, uh, although we saw his name and, and thought this would be interesting. His uh, name is Prince George. And Prince George is with us from, I believe, uh, Los Angeles. He is a film actor. He is a television actor. He is a rapper, he's an artist, a spokesperson, and an international star. And has uh, had relationships with Warren, Time Warner and a number of other things. So we'll be talking to him about all his experiences and all the things that he's doing and has been doing. But maybe first I should ask Prince George, where did the name come from, Prince George? How did you get to the name Prince George? And, and because I said, well, he was not born in Prince George, so where is the connection? Um, my name is, uh, well, Prince George is my name for sure. Um, or, um, and basically it was, um, it's my name, but also uh, it was called, I'm gonna say it this way. Um, Prince George is the Prince part is uh, part of my stage name. Uh, okay. Prince George, and it was given to me. Um, I was ordained Prince George uh, by uh, by fan base, and um, I did a show um, with the uh, my mentor uh, King Cassandra Da Vinci. Uh, from uh, the King Show since I was uh, fourteen years fourteen years old. Okay. So my the show. Um, so I was uh, I was always around um, my uh, mentor since I was fourteen, doing shows and producing and directing and writing and different things. So because of my work ethic and also um, I was uh, a dame uh, named Prince George. By a fan. Interesting. So let's talk about uh, some of the things that you do. You're a film actor, you, as you just mentioned as well. You're a writer, you publish things. Tell us about were you born in Southern California and, and how did your past bring you to where you are today? Well, I started out as a, uh, for, I worked for a company called Warzone Comics. And okay. um, we've been in business now 22 years um, okay. as an official company since 2002. Okay. And um, I, I started as a comic book artist, but even before then, um, like I, I, I've said in previous interviews, um, friends, me and friends of mine were, um, were comic book artists since we were kids, since we were born. So we bas we all basically were drawing and writing and uh, since we were since we you know for forever and like most um, 
children, you know, when you're in, in school, you used to pass notes between um, yourselves, right? Right. And, but instead of passing just regular notes between ourselves, we used to technically just um, draw comic strips between ourselves. Right. And basically you ask math questions and talk and laugh and joke and uh, things of that nature in class. And so um, we just loved it so much that, um, and we were doing it since um, like our first character, uh, Bugsy, which is the character you see behind me. Right, on, on your is, uh, uh, right hand side. Created, um, he, was, he was created in 1997 when we were in uh, junior high school. Wow. And so we've been having it forever. Um, way before we even uh, decided to make it into a, a business itself. And um, so in 2002, we decided to make it um, official company under the title uh, Warzone Company. So the Warzone is a company that you started uh, together with some of your other friends? Um, our our um, the company was started by uh, George Lost Easley, and I'm sorry to be, yeah, basically. And so that that basically was part of what we um, decided to send you do in 2002. And, right. Yeah. And and it's always so, been a passion. Okay, sorry I interrupted you. Okay. Fine. Yeah. So, so what did you do in, in the show? So you did writing and, and then you did music and comic things and... Oh, and well, um, no, well, in The King Show, when I was a part of The King Show um, right. with uh, my mentor, uh, King Princess Vinci, um, I was an actor right. and a writer and officially, unofficially, I was a writer and, uh, and I helped to direct a couple episodes unofficially, unaccredited, and help put together shows behind the scenes. And, and um, for several years. And then 2002 was off at the same time, like three months after we started the company uh, Warzone Comics. So we started the company Warzone Comics March 3rd, 2002. Right. And say about June of uh, 2002, we was offered our own show um, by uh, Time Warner, which at the time was a part of Warner Brothers, was right. offered our own. Was offered our own show, um, in one of the in, in uh, one of the studios, and then I would say after it was offered a show by Time Warner, we ended up being offered a show by uh, Comcast, Adelphia, and several other uh, new state and bigger companies offered uh, our own show in different studios. Okay, so we ended up start producing our own show, and as well as being part of. Uh, the King Show, and then along the lines, while we were producing our own show, um, helping the King Show, we ended up helping um, other shows as well. Like there are other shows that I was a uh, like a guest on or help behind the scenes on. Like uh, there's a show called uh, Princess uh, Princess Joy Celebrity Talk um, that I did uh, did a couple episodes of. Uh, there's another producer, uh, Charlie uh, Charlie Blue, who was had a show called. People good day in LA. I was a guest on a, a show. Um, there's a I have a I have a protege named Vicky, who also had a show um, years later, of course, and she had a show called the Vicky Show, which I was a a part of. Like uh, my protege, she had a show called the Vicky Show. So it was a several it was several shows that eventually came about, but the initial two shows that was initially started was um, the uh, King Show and. And then my show, the French Dirt Show, initially started everything else. So would they then be shown on television channels, uh, uh, Prince? Yeah, they, they were. Like, they were shown um, around several television stations, different, different cha several channels every week. And we were responsible for uh, coming up with uh, shows and show content and things of that nature. So, yeah. Um, so our shows initially, when we started them, right, most of them, they're copywritten, um, they ended up being copywritten, but initially we were just out of our head. We didn't, we wrote them out, we wrote the shows 
out of our head. So there were never right. initially we did the show. They were never written down on paper initially. That that's when it was the King Show or before that. No, um, the King Show or the Prince George Show initially was were never initially originally never written down on paper ever. There was so just, what? But was the objective then to kind of put a group of people together that could interact well and then d get a basic idea saying, uh, so we have X amount of time that, that we can then bring down to the show and then get a ready package for television and give a basic mandate between Oh, no, no, no. Well, no, no. Um, what you basically see on television, it was a full length show. Like, so like all of our shows are a uh, variety show. Okay. So, um, so if you went on the King show, either it was, he, he did all different types of stuff. We all did every different thing. We did either uh, biblical shows, acting shows, art shows, music shows, right. perform, perform shows. No, even on my show at times we did art shows as well. Like so like we get like um we sketched we showed that we had various talent. It was very much it was very much structured and we was actually in an actual studio. We had a uh, cameraman, we had cameraman at we had cameraman, lighting, uh stage hands, we had all the things you tend to have in an actual show. Right? That's very complicated, and right? We, not we not easy. Like two, so we filmed like two actual shows um, a day that right. we did Whoa. out of out of different studios. Okay, it's just that we were so well oral, well oil machine that we didn't have to um, write them down. Like we didn't have to right. write the shows down. They had a, for, a specific format, right? So like. Yeah. We'll get. We'll give you the basic premise of like, okay, well, we will tell tell, tell the crew, hey, um, well, if we want to use certain backgrounds as, as for our shows, or our show has credits and logos and first beginning credits and end credits and everything else, is right. the the middle part of the show that wasn't like, um, so like there, uh, so like say for instance, we were if we were to act on the show that day, right? Right. Right. We'll give them the title of what we're going to, the, the, basically the, the title of what the show is, right? Right. And so we don't know, like, okay, well, these, these are the group of people that's going to be on the show for that day, right? And on the spot, we'll give, like, if they're acting, we'll give people their, their character names on the spot for who they're, they are. Right. And so basically it was improv, in a sense. Yeah. So in a sense, like so if say for instance, um say for instance, uh King will go out if he was just show, he may go out and start acting a, a particular character, right? And everybody's sitting in gorilla position or near um the stage, right? Right. So it depends on what he's saying, because you're used to each other. And we used to know what each other would say and, and stuff like that or whatever, right? Yeah. You would know by basically what he's saying. You're like, oh, that's not like something. I mean, I made him go out to technically uh, interacting with them, right? And so, say for instance, I may not be the person to go out right away to, to interact, but I may tell someone else helping behind the scenes to help, to help support, uh, to uh, help direct the show. I may tell somebody else, go, go, go. Your, your turn. And they'll go out and interact with the person as their character, right? And then so on and so forth until everybody eventually is out on stage. And you may not be all on stage at once or whatever, but you eventually will go out in that show or, or whatever the case and build a show on the, on the spot. Right. Build a show on the spot. So how long did you do? That were the initial ones that you did, right? And then... As you um, then, like I did uh, the King Show since I was fourteen until I was twenty. I'll say twenty-one or twenty-two. Seven or eight and, years, yeah. Yeah. And then um, I did my show um, from two from two thousand two, which um, I was 
I was uh, 19, I think. I started my show when I was 19. And I was that the show. Warzone comic then? Huh? Were those the Warzone comic shows that you did? Uh, this, well, the show wasn't, okay, the show, called, it was called The Prince George Show, which we're technically okay. reproducing right now on uh, Amazon Prime. Okay. Right? We relaunched it recently on Amazon Prime, which we're writing, I'm writing, officially writing, we're writing the scripts on paper now, okay. right? Okay. In certain shows, we're repurposing from, from, we have a trailer right now showing what we did as a show, uh, past tense, and then we're relaunching it and showing what we're doing currently, right? But like um, the shows are more uh, structured now as a as a show. Now the show I'm doing right now is we're doing right now is more structured. Right. Where I technically host, uh, I write and, and host the actual the new version of the show as well too. And and so are those daily ones, or how many of those shows do you do in a month? Um. It, it depends now. Like um, right now, because we're in the process of filming an actual movie project called a uh, comic book movie called Bugsy uh, the Becoming, which okay. again, like if you look at the posters on my wall, right, and right. also my shirt. We oh, are yeah. uh, in the process of uh, relaunching a. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we were launching. We we're launching a. Uh, we're uh, launching a movie project. So we okay. are spending our time between shooting an actual movie project and an actual show. So we're balancing both. But as far as shooting shows, it depends depends on what the schedule is that 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 week. Okay, and then then they go again on television. Is that? Regional or throughout? Uh... Um, right now, um, the the Prince George show we have right now on um, Amazon Prime that we're we're writing and producing right now. To start uploading okay. more shows as we speak, as as we as, uh, as we speak. But also, um, we are uh, also recording um, a couple audio books and a couple uh, soundtracks for the type of project uh, Bugsy. Uh, the become the becoming project that turned into movies based on a comic book. The Bugsy Coming project is based on a comic book, but like the show, the show, like the Prince George show. Sorry for being confusing all over the place, but the Prince George show. We talk about we talk about the um, the movie project. We also interview all the actors, actresses as part of the movie project. But we also interview other people, and dude, we still do acting. We still write and everything else is just we it's more structured and it's more even more structured than what we were before right so that was a good experience though that you had before that kind of got you ready for what followed right um yeah you know what um absolutely it was uh one of the best experiences i can say that uh a person can have um especially the fact that uh especially if you um wanted to go. Me, I didn't plan out to be, initially plan out to be a producer or a director, but the experience that I gained uh, being a part of the, the King Show and the Prince George Show, yeah, really, really prepared me for what I'm doing right now. Yeah, and you already started when you were only 14, right? So you were young, so, and getting all that bit and pieces of experience together Get got you ready for the Prince George show, right? Um, yeah, but you know what? That's the funny part because the day that I, st I started the uh King show when I was 14 years old, I I initially didn't plan to be a producer or director. Uh, initially, I was a part of a um group called uh, a rap crew. Um, I was a music, I was uh, did music originally when I first graced um the King show stage. I was doing music with a few friends, and so the, my first, very first episode of the King Show that I was a part of when I was fourteen years old was basically based off uh, music. And so, did you do rapping then? Were you a rapper? Um, initially I was a singer initially, but I wrote this is also sing songwriter. So initially I was singing um, backup for a friend of mine for a couple songs that we. Uh, was producing as it was right working on the time, 
And but I was writing have writing a couple of those songs too and stuff. Right. And then uh later I ended up um doing different uh styles of music later, yeah. Right. And so rapping as you know, like I'm I'm eighty three years old and so when I was young there was no rapping. That is only in the last ten, fifteen, twenty years maybe. And and that has become very, very popular. Yeah, but you know, I don't do the typical rapping. I mean, that most people you hear that everybody else does. Okay. Um, we have a, a specific style of music that we tend to do. It's a rap rock renaissance. And because um, initially, um, my grandpa, I, I was raised with my grandparents. Right. Out here, in Los, out here in Los Angeles. Right. Right. And my grandparents are from the country. So initially, my first grace, my first piece of music that I ever uh, was introduced to initially was country music. So I, yeah. I was raised up on country music initially. Right. And, Interesting. And so my mom introduced us to, uh, like the Motown sound and things of that nature, and friends introduced us to uh, like uh, rap and, and and boy bands and other types of music, right? Right. So me personally, I was influenced by different genres of music. So my music range if, on any if a song, it would range in those variations or more. So it's in my stuff. I've, um, not that everybody else's music don't have messages, but I don't. I'm not a. Uh, I wasn't raised hardcore or street or something or whatever the case. So I don't have that street mentality as, as when it comes to uh, when it comes to music. If, if that makes any sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I like it. Uh, you know the. So, I was just looking at your list that you have here so the so you you became uh music that was another tool that you had now you're a producer you have done directing you obviously had exposure to the music all of that set you up for what you're doing today really yeah and and so when did time warner come into the picture um like I said, me, we're us doing a, um, us doing at the time that uh, in 2002, um, when I was technically doing art and, and music. Right. But separately, but separately, but together at the same time, right? Even when I was 14, I did art and I did music as well, but I didn't do them, I didn't do them together. I didn't do them simultaneously. I didn't do right. them like planning to do a bigger project, right? You know, like we, I was born a comic book artist nat naturally, right? And my mom used to my mom was a songwriter when I was a kid. When I was a kid, my mom used to songwrite. And well, that, was, to write that was and write, helpful write, for you, writing. huh? That was very helpful to you for from a career perspective, because yeah, my mom was writing, writing songs is difficult. Yeah, but she's a writing arrange songs, and he used to be a choir director for a church when I was right. younger, and we used to be a part of her uh, choir, and she used to tour us around the different churches when I was younger. Right. So um, when I got older, I didn't realize that I can write music. I used to write poetry when I was younger. I used to write poetry at first. So eventually, when I started hanging out with friends, I started hanging out with friends. Uh, hanging out, joke, joking around, laughing, and things of that nature. Right. One day, I just suddenly start writing, um, writing music, and then we got the opportunity because because of my art, because of my art, because I'm a comic book artist, I was invited to uh, be a part of the uh, the King Show initially. But when we went to the King Show, instead of me. Drawing on the King Show initially, I started doing music with friends on the King Show. The day I was fourteen, when I was, we started doing music on the show instead of me doing art on the show. And then, so I split my time between both. 
of them. So um, when I got to my show, the Prince George show, I started doing both. Like eventually, it required me to do to technically do both because you know when you do a show, you need an intro to a movie, uh, intro to a, a show, and you also do you need also need music, right? Right. Right. So behind the scenes, I was doing the art part for the the uh, the show, and also did some so with music for it as well. Right. So that gave you a, a whole different set of skill sets that you put together, made you much more able to make things match, right? Because mm -hmm. if you had separate people doing it, then you would have to kind of find ways in which you could make sure whatever they were producing fitted into what you were directing or producing, right? Absolutely, but you know we have we have a full fledged company, so we did have art. We do have artists featuring on track uh, music or uh, have certain music done or whatever. Right. So it wasn't just my music, but like also like I do also like because I do music, I also have a passion and love for it as well. So it, whatever piece of music from our company that m matches whatever we're doing, I will we'll tend to keep it from there. So where are you now then from a career perspective, uh, uh, Prince? Uh, are you now kind of focusing mainly on your own or on, uh, are you working with the larger company, uh, you know, doing a, a number of different um, I work, like I said, I work for a company called Warzone Comics. Right. So like, um, like I said, Warzone Comics is our initial company that I've been a part of. Um, that initially, when I started, draw, we started drawing characters back in high school. We ended up the one, the company that twenty uh, years, right? We started drawing or more characters. We ended up starting um, using it as the basis to start a comic book company in two thousand two. Right. So the whole time we was on the King Show and also the Prince George Show, we also also was a part of a company called Warzone Comics. Warzone Comics is the producer or the Production company, Trinity Vision Entertainment, Warzone Comics, is the company that we use to technically produce the Prince George show. We also have, a, we also did a reg, regular radio show out of Hollywood, California. Um, this radio show, but all all through the uh, Warzone Comics brand, right? And now we 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 also have a podcast. The, the show we did for several years. Uh, one year less than we did the Prince George show. We also produced a, um, now we produce a podcast on uh, Apple Podcasts and all the TV stations. So we have a, a TV show and a radio show um, that we're technically producing through uh, our, our company and as well as a, a movie project as well. So, so give us some names in terms of how can people contact you or see what you're doing and, and you, so we can share that with the, our guests that are watching you, us uh, um, from to around go, the world. If you wanted to see something we were working on or something I was working on, you would right. go to uh, Warzone Comics, WZC.com or, or look up the company Warzone Comics and basically everything that who we are, what I technically work on, or what the company technically does as a, a company, we are fine. You can find there, or okay. all of our, our all our social media pages. If you look at Warzone Comics, um, all of our social media pages is dedicated to our company, our comics, our games, our shirts, things of that nature, and we also have things coming into uh, things in um, retailers as well too. So if we go. Um, to your favorite retailer, favorite retailer, such as like uh, Walmart, Target, uh, Barnes and Noble, these are nature your bigger retailers. Right. We have products coming to those stores as well. And okay. then, if you want to hear about podcasts, um, we have a, a podcast, Apple Podcast. We have a TV show, the Prince George Show, on Amazon Prime and several other stations. All of this so can be found on our website. Uh, under uh, Warzone Comic, WZC.com. So, WarzoneComic.com? 
Warzone Comics. Yeah. After comics, it's, it's abbreviation WZC.com. So it's Warzone Comics WZC.com. Okay. Good, good. Excellent. And and so the so your your career it, it's amazing that uh, you know the how about the uh, podcast have you, uh, it, but uh, how do we find your podcast the podcast again it's on our website under okay. our podcast all information about the podcast what it was initially um, and and all that good stuff and what it is now is it will be found under our, our on our website. Right. And um, also, if you want to go directly to our podcast, you can either go to the Warzone Comics, WZC.com, and click on our podcast, and they give you links to our podcast. Okay. Or you can go to, you can, or you can go to Apple Podcasts and look up the, print number, the number one print show of the airway, which, our, which is our podcast. Right. Okay. That, that sounds good. But you have a lot of things on the go, Prince George. Um, you know what? That's what we that's what we do. Again, um, our company does a lot of things. Um, we do the whole entertainment game. So we are a right. comic book and entertainment company. So right. like um, our like our initial, nurse, initial things initially was comics and and music and and production. But we do all the entertainment game. So like we build um, audio books. We build toys. We have water. We have shirts. We do clothes, or what I should say. We have our own water line. We have different things. This is as much as anybody else, like any other company probably does. But but you start, you operate mainly in Southern California, right? In the Los Angeles, Hollywood um, area. Our, our headquarters is in Los Angeles, yeah. Right. Excellent, uh, uh, Prince George. I find it very, very interesting. You do a whole lot of stuff and yeah. So any questions you have of me? What made you start your uh, podcast? That's a good question. Uh, you know, the probably already four or five years ago, I, I did some blogging, uh, interacting with other people. I always liked that idea. And, and then we kind of started doing something on local television where we did interviews in a form of podcasting. And then COVID came, obviously, and that didn't work any longer. And uh, then we said, what do we do now? And I had, uh, I'm in the city of Prince George, British Columbia, uh, just in case people don't uh, uh, remember the name of the city. It's uh, about 500 miles north of Prince George, of uh, Van, Cooper, and I had an apartment there and we started then podcasting from this location where I'm now at. And we did interviewing of local and regional people out of the area, but, and we did quite a bit of that. And then we became, we needed a broader circle. So I was thinking about setting up a podcast studio in Vancouver, but then we started looking at companies like CNN that are doing more and more virtual and more and more people at the same time. And it became better and more efficient because before 10, 15 years ago, it would interrupt every so often, it was not very reliable. But this now today is very reliable. And so we started doing probably 50-50 by live and virtual. And now we're doing probably 90% virtual. And from people all around the world, we joined Potmatch, which has been amazing to us. And uh, so we are an international podcaster. And the amazing part about it, Prince, is that as you and me are sitting here having a discussion, it feels to me like you're sitting next to me on the other couch. And, and then knowing all the while that it is not just you and me that having a discussion,
but there is tens of thousands of people around the world are watching us. That's the amazing part about it. And that's what I like about it. And so we are doing more and more of them and more and more international in Europe, Asia, from all over the world. And, uh, and I love it. So that's kind of what got me started on it. And uh, now if I look at it today, it's only on its beginning. It can go much, much further. And uh, although we are already very, very busy, we're doing about, uh, as I said earlier, 12 to 15 podcasts uh, a month and about three or four a week. And, and where we uh, are hosting as well as I'm a guest. And I love it. It's uh, one day I'm talking to you in California and Los Angeles. Uh, probably next week I'm talking to somebody in Sweden or Greece or Peru or wherever. It's an amazing, amazing vehicle. And Podmatch has done a very, very good job because the challenge was how do you find the people to interview and they doing a very, very good job of uh, with their vehicle to put that together. I, I, I should say it's a challenge for me. Um, um, as far as doing a uh, actual podcast, it's fun, don't get me wrong. But I'm used to doing it an actual, actual official radio station because right. my experience, way before I started doing a uh, actual podcast, I was actually, actually at a radio station. Um, I started a podcast on a well. I started a radio show in 2003. We started right. a, a radio show in 2003, which we used to produce out of Hollywood, California. And so, like, but it, I think it was since the uh, was it just before the uh, pandemic, right? Right. We turned it into a, a, a podcast, um, and it's different. I I love it. But it's a different, um, a different, a different animal. Yeah, um, I, I've done a lot of them, uh, uh, Prince, as you know. And, uh, you know, we are on YouTube, uh, you know, a lot. And uh, some of the other challenges, uh, uh, vehicles. And uh, I love it. It's an international platform. And uh, so I never quite know what... Uh, uh, but will happen because most of the people that I interview or what I interact with, like even yourself, uh, you know, when we came on, you probably said, who is this guy? And then I introduce you as uh, Prince George. And then I said, then you said, well, where are you located? I said, Prince George. No, no, that's my name. Where are you located? I said, Prince George. <laughs> so it's kind of funny <laughs> in a way. So having a sense of humor about things are important and then feeling easy about being able to i'm interested in the things that you are doing that's why we uh, have you on our show is uh, you have a very uh, interesting and an amazing background and uh, and you are being very very successful and i believe your podcasting uh, uh, will bring you much further and wider although you already uh, are well known in a lot of areas, but it will expand you even further. And I like it. I like the, uh, the platform. I used to do a lot of public speaking. And, uh, and a lot of times when I do that, I have to fly someplace, do a presentation. It takes me a day or a two days where with this tens of thousands of people are watching us and uh, it is virtually instant because the dialogue that we have together are of interest to a lot, a lot of people. So I, so I like it. Know? So anything else you want to know about us? No, or no. Know about me? Uh, no, I, th uh, you know, uh, uh, I think it uh, was a very, very interesting discussion. Uh, we know a lot more about you. We, we make our podcast available the following morning. So uh, it's available to you and it is unedited. As we present it, that's how it will be available to you and then shared with the rest of your guests. And maybe tell us once more for those that want to look up 
your background again. Give us once more your, uh, uh, your, your address so that our guests that are watching can kind of follow you. Um, if you want to know more about myself, uh, the company I work for, Warzone Comics, or you know more about uh, our character, Bugsy, that we're working on a movie, uh, movie project about, uh, you can check us all out at uh, Warzone Comics, WZC.com. That's W A R Z O N E C O M I C S. It's followed by its abbreviation, W is in War, Z is in Zebra, Z is in Charlie.com. Prince George, it was a pleasure to have you on my show. We'll stay in touch with you, and our podcast will be available to you tomorrow morning. Okay, thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. You too.